Hello everybody, welcome to Chef Life, the channel where we cook and travel, sometimes run and definitely always have a lot of fun. Today we'll show you something really really nice, so of course please don't forget to subscribe to it if you haven't done it yet, like what you see and tell all your friends. So as you can see I got my Swiss t-shirt on today, which means we are cooking a Swiss dish. And that is a Rösti. Rösti is a potato dish that can be vegetarian or plant-based or just as it is. Super important for us Swiss. It is a national dish and we're super proud of that. So let me show you how it's done. So we cut the bacon into strips. They don't have to be too fine. Then we have to peel the onion and we will cut it in fine slices. We have to peel the potatoes. I do like a potato peeler like this because it just goes so easy. Now we grate them on the Rösti grater. And you see it comes out like this. Make sure that you actually don't wash your potatoes because you need all the starch then for the Rösti to hold together. We're starting with the bacon. You can put that in the pan, even if it's not hot hot, it's okay. And you don't need any fat because there's enough fat in the bacon. If you'd like to do a vegetarian option, you basically just leave the bacon away. And if you want it completely plant-based, you just omit the butter as well and you use olive oil instead. There is no need to wait till the bacon is brown. You just want it cooked a little bit because it will brown then later anyway with the Rösti. So now I add some onions. And we fry that a bit longer. Okay, now the onions are good. You see they are just soft. That's all you need. And we're adding the potatoes to it. And we mix everything nice. This is as well the time where you season your Rösti. Not too much salt because you have bacon in it. Form the Rösti. And now very very important, you have to go down with your temperature. Because you want to have a slow roast. Because you want the Rösti to be all the way cooked through. And you want to have it nice and brown. Now it's the time where you add a little bit butter on the side.
and you let it nicely roast for about 8 to 10 minutes without moving too much. The only thing you can do is a little bit like that. Make sure it's nicely put together. Oh, it smells beautiful. So we had it about eight minutes on the stove and I can see here on the edges where it starts turning nice and golden brown. So what I do now is I'll show you a very easy way to ch uh, swap over the Rösti because not everybody wants to try it like in the movies and then half of it is on the floor. So basically what I do is very simple. We'll take a plate, put it on top, go quick and put it back in the pan that the other side goes brown. Beautiful already. I can't wait to eat it. Now it will take uh, not about five to eight minutes to the other side to get crispy as well and to finish it cooking. So fantastic! It is finished and we will plate it now on a plate. But just to let you know, in Switzerland, often you actually find the Rösti served in a pan. Often we put some ham on it, then some cheese, mainly mountain cheese, gratinate it and serve it with fried eggs. So that's a whole meal. So Röst is really, really important in Switzerland, especially in the German speaking part. But let's go ahead and plate it because I am hungry. Voila! And we're ready for our Rösti for tasting. Oh, it looks good. It's a bit crispy. Oh, it's hot and nice. So let me just taste a little bit, make sure that I don't burn. Very nice, very hot, very nice. The bacon is a bit crispy, it's not salty at all, but nice and flavorful. You can eat it with everything you want. We cook often meat with that, but you can actually eat it as it is. So go on, go in your kitchen, try it out, and I'll see you soon again.